Hello everyone, and welcome to another Pathfinder Adventure Card Game scenario. We are with the character Drelm. Uh, this is level B2, or the basic level, scenario 2. We're over at the Scorched Obelisk. We're at this location. When you succeed at a check to defeat a Bane by 4 or more, you are dealt 1d4 electricity damage. Okay, so it could be pretty deadly. So what we're going to do now is we're going to advance the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of the Elements, and we're going to explore. Uh, the first thing that comes up is the Magma Spirit, Outsider Elemental Fire Basic. So the Magma Spirit is immune to the Fire trait. If the check to defeat has a Cold trait, okay, nothing in Drelm's hand has the Cold trait. Before you act, each character at your location is dealt one Fire damage. Uh, Drelm does have a Crocodile Skin Shield. Let's see if that can help. Yep. Recharge this card to reduce acid combat or fire damage by two. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So we will go ahead and recharge that card so we don't have to deal with the damage. And now we have a check to defeat combat nine. So Drelm has a strength of D10 and plus two. He also has the Explorer Staff. So the Explorer Staff says for your combat check, Reveal this card to use your strength or melee skill plus 1d6. So I think if we just do the 1d10 and the 1d10 and the 1d6 and we get to add 2 to this result, I think we'll be all set. So let's see, we can also we also have the option of using this whip, which says for your strength for your combat check, reveal this card to use your strength or melee plus 1d6. If proficient with weapons and you would fail this check, you may discard this card to ignore the results and evade the bane. So you know what, I think that might be the safer bet. We'll go ahead and we'll use the whip. So strength and melee skill plus 1d6. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're using the whip, rolling, D, rolling our dice here. So we rolled a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so we rolled 14, but unfortunately that is over four. So we are dealt 1d4 electricity damage. So this bane, is banished. We do take 1d4 damage because of the Scorched Obelisk. That really sucks. Wow, so we take three points of damage. So three cards are going into our discard pile. So that really hurts. Alright, so fortunately the last card in Drum's hand was a Cure Spell. And we are definitely going to use the Cure Spell right now. So roll a d4. So we roll a 4. So we get all the cards back, so we can shuffle all of those cards back into his uh, library <coughs> or his uh, health deck, whatever you want to call that. So all those cards that Drone just had to discard are now shuffled back into his deck, thanks to the Cure Spell. And now we're going to try to recharge the Cure Spell. We have to do Divine 8 check. So Drone's Divine skill is D8 plus 3. Okay, so let's roll high. And we rolled a 3, plus 3 is a 6. So, <clears throat> so what we have to do is we have to discard this card. Okay, that's unfortunate. So now we are resetting Drelm's hand. So Drelm has a hand size of 5 cards. Okay, and now we're going to advance the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of Wajet. And we're going to explore. Okay, here's the uh, this scenario's henchman. The Sand Scorpion. Before you act, each character at this location is dealt one poison damage. Okay, so what's going to happen is that we, uh, da -da -da -da, so we have to see what we got here. So there's nothing we can do to prevent that damage. So we are going to lose, hmm, we are going to go ahead and, hmm, shucks. What we're going to do is we should have cast, we should have slowed down and used our elemental treaty spell, but we didn't do that. So as it is, we'll take the point of damage, lose the elemental treaty spell. We are going to gain the curse of poisoning. So that is rather unfortunate. So Drum now has a curse of poisoning. Dun dun dun. So we're putting that by Drum's deck. Okay, so now. We're going to try to defeat this combat 12. So, since this, uh, da, 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 da. 
So it says, if defeated by less than five, you may immediately attempt to close the location this henchman came from. If you succeed before closing, you may draw any number of boons in the location deck. Wow, so that's pretty cool. So if defeated by less than five, you may immediately attempt to close the location the henchman came from. And then if we succeed, so this is going to be tough. We have to succeed at a constitution or fortified nine. So we're going to keep our blessing of the elements. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use this Kopish, which is a strength or melee skill plus 1d8. So I think if we do a d10 and a d8 and we get to add three, or actually we get to add two to this roll, I think that we can get the 12. All right, that's what we're going to do. Let's see what happens. All right, so we rolled a 7 and an 8. Wow, so that's a great roll. 15, 16, 17. So we rolled 17. So what's nice about that is that we did... Um, so our grand total is 17, which is 5 over. So how about that? So we did not defeat it by less than 5. Because we have 15, 16, 17. Yep. So what happens is that we just succeed in defeating this uh, henchman. But now we have to deal with the Scorched Obelisk effect, which is we have to take 1d4 damage. And we take, okay, we're fortunate there. We only take one point of damage. So I'm going to lose the Explorer's Staff as damage. Now what we're going to do is uh, Drelm has this Remove Curse spell in his hand so he can recharge his card to banish a displayed card that has a curse trait. So we're going to use that right away. We will get rid of the Curse of Poisoning. And now we will reset our hand. Of course, the better play would have been to have played the, uh, the Elemental Treaty spell, but we were in too much of a rush. That's what happens when Drelm rushes. Okay, advancing the Blessings deck. And in the Blessings deck, we get a Curse of Poisoning. So, Drelm once again, he got cursed. I'm making this whole campaign challenging by throwing curses in the Blessings deck. Alright, so we got that. Now we are exploring. And we get a Poison Blade Trap. So it's a Trap Poison Elite. So if undefeated, each character at your location is dealt 1d4 poison damage. Well, fortunately, uh, so it's a Barrier Trap Poison Elite. Okay, so Drelm does have that power that says... On your check against a card that has the obstacle trait, he could add his divine skill. But this, unfortunately, is not an obstacle. So we have a dexterity acrobatics. Uh, Drelm has dexterity D6 or disable knowledge. He does not have disable or knowledge. So in this case, we definitely are going to use... It says here, we can use the Blessing of the Elements to recharge this card since it has the poison trait on any check. So it does have poison. Okay, so we're going to recharge the Blessing of the Elements and we're going to roll 2d6. And we're going to hope for a 5 or higher. Alright, and we rolled a 3 plus 1 is 4. Okay, so if undefeated, each character at your location is dealt 1d4 poison damage. Ouch. So, rolling the d4. Okay, so we take 1 point of poison damage. I have a crocodile skin shield. Uh, it doesn't protect from poison damage. So what's going to happen is that this trap is going to get shuffled back into the location deck. And I have to take a point of damage. I'm going to lose a blessing of the elements as damage. Okay, shuffling up the location deck here. Rolling the D8 to see which card is on top randomly. Okay, that one. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to reset... Drum's hand, but unfortunately Drum has the Curse of Poisoning, so he's going to have to recharge his Crocodile Skin Armor. Alright, very interesting. Advancing the Blessings deck, it's a Blessing of Phrasma. Exploring, we get the Filter Hood. Okay, this could be very useful. Constitution Fortitude, or Intelligence, uh, Craft Survival. So he does not have... Hmm... So, shucks. Wow, I gotta study Drelm a little more. He does have the Disable skill. So I should have used that for that Blade Trap. Okay. Well, Drelm is just starting out. It's early on in the campaign. I'm gonna roll the Constitution Fortitude to see what happens. Rolling a D6. 
G6 here. So we get a 3. So we do not acquire that boon. Resetting the hand. We are rolling for Curse of Poisoning. So we have to recharge the Feather of Matt. I decided to keep the Feather of Matt from the last uh, scenario. So we have to recharge that. So the hand is all set. We are advancing the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of Wajet again. Okay, cool. Well, this is the uh, first ally that Drelm is encountering <clears throat> in the entire campaign. I don't know if this is fortuitous or not. So Drelm does not have wisdom. Well, he has a wisdom of D8. He doesn't have the survival skill. All right, so let's roll, see if Drelm gets the Porcupine. And he rolled the four. Well, the first ally that Drelm comes across says, no, thank you. Okay, resetting the hand, rolling for Curse of Poisoning. We have to, wow, we have to recharge our Kopish. So Drelm loses a weapon. He still has a whip in his hand. Advancing the Blessings deck, and we get, all right, we get another weapon. We get a whip. Strength melee 7. Drelm has a melee of D10 plus 2. All right, so we only roll the 4. So we do not acquire this boon. It gets banished. Uh, resetting the hand. Rolling for Curse of Poisoning. We get a 3. So I have to recharge a crowbar from Drelm's hand. So now what we're going to do is we're going to advance the Blessings deck. And we're going to explore. All right, a Blessing of Wajet. This is really cool because Drelm is all about the Abdar or Wajet trait. So definitely want to try to get this card. So Drelm has a Divine of Wisdom plus 3. Okay, cool. So all I got to do is roll a D8 and not roll a 1. <laughs> and I rolled a 1. Ouch. Shucks. Well, that's going to hurt. I uh, don't have anything to bump up my result. So this boon gets banished. I probably should have used the Blessing of the Ancients, but I was kind of worried about that. I only had one in my hand. So resetting my hand, rolling for the Curse of Poisoning. I get a 2, so I have to recharge my whip. Hmm, not looking too good. And we are exploring. We get the Caravan Raider. Okay, so it's a... The difficulty to defeat is increased by the Scenario's Adventure deck number. So this is Scenario B. So we don't have to have any modifiers. So we can either do the Strength 7 or the Combat 9. I am going to use a Blessing of the Ancients. So I'm going to be rolling a 2d10 for this check. I don't have any weapons. It's just a straight up melee check. So 2d10. And we rolled the 8, 9, 10. Plus our melee skill of 2 is 12. So not only did we defeat it, but we only defeated it by three, so we don't trigger this Scorched Obelisk. So, very happy about that. Okay, resetting the hand. We are going to then roll for Curse of Poisoning. And we rolled a two, so we have to... Shucks, we have to recharge our Remove Curse spell. So we were hoping to use that to get rid of the Curse of Poisoning, but it had other ideas. Okay. So now, we are going to advance the Blessing deck and see what here is here. Okay, we got a Skeletal Jackal. Combat 8 check. Um, immune to cold, mental, and poison traits. If the check to defeat has the piercing or slashing trait, well, we don't have any weapons in our hand. The only thing we have is a Blessing of the Ancients. So it's going to be just a straight up melee check. So, D10... I'm going to go ahead and use a Blessing of the Elements. And I'm going to roll another 2d10 and add 2 to the roll. Alright, so we rolled a 10 and a 5 is 15, 16, 17. So we defeat the Skeletal Jackal, but way by more than 4. So Scorched Obelisk kicks in and we take 2 points of damage. So it's electricity damage. We have the Crocodile Skin Shield. It does not protect from electricity damage, which really sucks. Um, okay, so we have to take two points of damage. I'm going to lose a camel and the crocodile skin to the scorched obelisk. We're going to reset our hand. Okay, we're getting low on cards. It's getting a little worrisome. We're going to roll for the curse of poisoning. 
So we have to recharge our crocodile skin armor. And now we're going to advance the blessing deck. And we get the wall of scythes again. Okay, this time, what we're going to do <clears throat> is we can do the disable. Because Drelm does have the disable skill, which I have to remember. So it's D8 plus 2. And, hmm. So if we do the disable knowledge, it's going to be D8. So we've got a 50-50 chance of doing that. So that's what we're going to do. We do have a uh, we do have a crowbar. Let's see if that'll help us out. So it's for strength or to your, to your check to defeat a barrier you encounter that has a lock or obstacle trait. So hey, cool. It has, that has the obstacles. So we can actually use the uh, crowbar. We can reveal the crowbar. Reveal the crowbar to add one die to your strength. Non-combat check. So we can actually hmm, interesting. So if we wanted to do oh, it's only to or to your check to defeat a barrier. So reveal this card to add one die to your strength, non contact or to your check to defeat barrier. Okay, so we can go ahead, if we really wanted to, we could then use our disable. We could roll 2d8. But the thing is, if we're on 2d8 and adding 2, we might trigger the Scorched Obelisk. If we trigger that, we're in some trouble. It'd be much better than to deal the 1d4 combat damage. Um, tough call. Tough call. We're just going to do D8 plus 2. We're going to see what happens. All right, we're all a 6, 7, 8. Whew, that was close. So we do defeat the Wall of Scythes, and we don't defeat it by f over 4. Wow, very fortunate. Okay, we are resetting our hand. We have to roll for the Curse of Poisoning. We roll a 4. So the Kopish gets recharged. We are now advancing the Blessings deck. It's the last card in the Blessings deck. This is the last card in the location, and it's a Poison Blade Trap. Okay, so it's a Trap Poison Elite. Okay, so actually, you know what? Because this is uh, on your check against a card that has the Obstacle trait. So it didn't have the Obstacle trait. But we do have a Disable. So we can do, Drelm can do a Disable check. So his Disable is Wisdom plus 2, which is D8. So he has a D8 check. So he could do 2D8 for the Wisdom check if I wanted to. I have a Blessing of the Ancients in my hand. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I have the crowbar. The crowbar, reveal this card, add one die. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and use the crowbar. We're rolling 2D8 and we get to add 2 for this Disable check. Alright, so I rolled a 4, 5, six seven wow right on the dot to do that disable check that is amazing so the poison blade trap thanks to the crowbar we got rid of it but now in order to successfully end this campaign or close this location we need to make this check right now succeed at a constitution or a fortitude nine check fortunately drum has a blessing of the ancients his constitution is only a d6 so Got to roll 2d6, see what happens here. 2d6, we need a 9. All right, and we rolled a 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 away, but look at this. We got the, not the, we got this. So we rolled a 5, 6, 7, 8, so we failed, but we have the Feather of Matt. We bumped that up to a 9, and we barely succeed in closing that location on the last go. Wow. And we have three cards in our hand. We have to reset our hand and we can. We have a hand size of five. We still got the Curse of Poison, but it's end game. So there you go. We were able to do it with one card left in our deck. Wow, pretty amazing. Let's go do ahead and do some tentacle difficulties or some, well, what I want to say is right now, we're going to go ahead and do a deck check. <clears throat> So Curse of Poisoning is gone. We had that pretty much for the whole campaign. Here's our buddy Drelm. Let's go ahead. Let me know what you think of the uh, light glare. I mean, it's uh, I could have put on the fancy light, but I said, ah, I think this will be fine. So let me know if you think the glare here is uh, not working out. But let me go ahead and do a deck check here so for Drelm. He has, of course, the starting hand of 15 cards. Uh, let's see if, if he gained any boons here. I think he pretty much biffed. 
I have to remember to use that elemental treaty instead of just rushing around. Okay, so here is where um, Drum is. This is Drum's starting deck. Pretty much hasn't changed. The only thing that's changed is that he gained the uh, the feather of Matt from Last Adventure. So that was act and that actually saved him. So that actually is pretty handy. I think we want to keep this on. So what's cool about this scenario is the reward is the Scarab Buckler. So we get that for free. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, have to get rid of the uh, Crocodile Skin Shield just to make room for the Scarab Buckler. And now, of course, we can go ahead as a reward. But before we get rid of the Crocodile Skin Shield, we might want to use it to trade. So we have the choice of getting some spells or uh, getting some items. And I'm pretty happy with uh, the item for now. I'm going to hold on to the Feather of Matt. So we're going to go ahead and visit a Hayden Hopper for some spells. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle up this uh, spell deck here. And since we're playing with Drum, what's going to be really cool is we have a choice of having up to three spells to choose from. And it's really cool because we have an extra loot item, which allows us to have an item to trade. So this is actually going to work out really nice. So this is cool. This is a lot of the fun part of a leveling up characters is I'm going to randomly roll a d30 here. All right, and I'm counting down 21. Wow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1. Okay, so Hayden Hopper's offering a Cure spell, an Acid Jet spell, or a Clinging Venom spell. All right, well, I think... So this is, I think the Acid Jet spell, um, I think we're going to, I mean, I like Clinging Venom, but I think Acid Jet will just be a little more useful. A lot of Banes have an immunity to poison, whereas the Acid Jet is much more functional. So what we're going to do is we're going to give Hayden Hopper the Crocodile Skin Shield. So that's going to get returned to the box. We're going to keep the Acid Jet spell, and Hayden Hopper says, hey, hold on. You owe me one more thing to trade. So we're going to go ahead and give, since I biffed on the Elemental Treaty, we're going to give him the Elemental Treaty spell. So we're sacrificing some defense to get some pretty radical offense. And that's, we say goodbye to Hayden Hopper and these traders. And that's the state of Drum's deck. That was uh, the end of scenario B2. So thanks for watching. Uh, and I will have another scenario up shortly. All right, thanks.